This set by the Banner of Truth, what is labeled the Reformed Theology Student Set, is for the serious bookworm and for students of theology. I'll start with the Doctrine of Justification by James Buchanan. Martin Luther, the man that God used 500 years ago in the Protestant Reformation, declared the doctrine of justification to be the doctrine by which the church either stands or falls. So also John Calvin called the doctrine of justification the main hinge upon which religion turns. J.I. Packer, in his introduction to this book by Buchanan, says this, quote, The doctrine of justification is like Atlas. It bears a world on its shoulders, the entire evangelical knowledge of saving grace. This is because the doctrine of justification has to do with answering the question, how can a person be made right with God? It is the most basic question of salvation. How can I, a sinner, be justified or declared righteous before a holy God? It is a question that is often misunderstood, and in all actuality, it is the dividing line between true religion and false religion. James Buchanan, he lived in the 1800s in Scotland, and his work on this very important doctrine is in-depth, comprehensive, thorough. It is definitely not a casual read, but if you or someone you know is a hungry student of theology, then this is an excellent book to pick up on one of the most important topics of Christianity. The Doctrine of the Holy Spirit by George Smeaton. Prior to receiving this book from uh, the Banner of Truth, I had never read anything by Smeaton. Living in 19th century Scotland, Smeaton was, according to one man, one of the brilliant galaxy of men on the staff of Free Church College in Edinburgh. Uh, not knowing what to expect as I opened this book, I was gripped by the eloquent dynamism and enthusiasm of his writing. Let me read a couple of sentences to show you what I mean. He says this in Lecture 6, The Holy Spirit, at the commencement of what is called his mission, collected the disciples into a living unity. And this great work of the Spirit is called the Church, the Kingdom of God, the Body of Christ, the Temple of the Spirit, the Habitation of God in the Spirit, a conquest from the Kingdom of Darkness and Death. It rises as a fabric, in all the majesty of its proportions, on the ruins of that empire of rebellion and sin which previously occupied the world. It forms a true city of refuge to all who desire to escape from the tyranny of the destroyer. This is a book that is absolutely needed today. Where there is so much confusion about who the Holy Spirit is and what he does, this is also a book, though certainly it is doctrinal and even academic at points, which will be hard for you to put down. The third book in this set is The Mysteries of Christianity, Revealed Truths Expounded and Defended by T.J. Crawford. It's another work which is thoroughly doctrinal, dealing with many of the mysteries of the Christian faith, but Crawford wonderfully explains the difference between what is, in, what is uh, unintelligible, something utterly impossible for us to understand, and what is a mystery. In Crawford's words, something, a mystery is something which is only revealed to us in part, and which, so far as it is unrevealed, uh, transcends the limits of human knowledge. This book is, I would say, an apologetic work. It is a defense of the Christian faith against many of the popular objections to it. Crawford answers questions about the existence of evil, the purposes of God, and the humanity as well as the divinity of Jesus. I don't know of another work quite like it, and consider it a valuable resource to have in my library, and I think any hungry pastor or student of theology would be greatly aided by such a book.